Hey guys and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to work on this really cute uh, amigurumi octopus. It's crocheted and it's really quick. I whipped this up in about an hour or so, so if you've got a little special someone that you know would really appreciate it, a little amigurumi octopus which has little twisting tentacles, this is the project for you. Alright, let's get started. For this project you will need about one third skein of fuchsia colored vanish choice yarn. You're gonna need two little button eyes, whatever you choose for the buttons for the eyes. That was my cat. A darning needle in a size J or six millimeter crochet hook. I'm using a Susan Bates metal crochet hook. You're also gonna need some polyfill or any kind of fiber fill stuffing that you wanna fill your little guy with. All right, let's get started. To begin, you're going to want to make a magical ring with six single crochets inside of it. If you have any questions on how to make a magical ring, we have a tutorial on how to make one of those down in the description. Next up, you're going to want to place two single crochets inside of each of these stitches here. So now that you have your 12 single crochets here, you're going to, on the next round, round two, we're going to single crochet one and then increase on the second single crochet. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And we will end with 18 single crochets on our piece. The next round after that, we're going to single crochet two and then increase, which will end up with 24 single crochets. We're increasing six single crochet every time until we reach 42 single crochets on our piece. So that will get us to single crocheting five and then increasing on our sixth every time. And if you're confused by this, we do have a written pattern down in the tutorial, which will help make that a bit more clear if you're more of a, I need a written pattern kind of person. All right, and I'll also try to put it in the video somewhere. So I'll see you when our increases are all done and I'll tell you what to do next. Once you've done all your increases, you're going to want to just single crochet around for 10 rounds. And I'll see you when those 10 rounds are done and we'll begin our decreasing rows. So now that you have done your 10 rounds, you're going to want to start doing your decreasing rows in order to close off this hole. What you're going to do is here you are increasing from one, two, every third, every fourth, every fifth, and then every sixth. Here we're going to start decreasing by single crocheting five, skipping our sixth all the way to the end. And then the next round we're going to single crochet four, skipping our fifth, and so on and so forth. And so we get to the point where we're skipping every other one and when we skip every other one we're going to just kind of close it up and let it let it close up at around uh, when this gets to the point where you don't think you can well when you get to the point where it's like maybe about two inches wide that's when you're gonna want to take your polyfill and you're going to want to stuff it all right I'll see you when we're done closing up so now that we have finished off our bottom and we've sewn in our tails I still need to cut those off but next we're going to want to start picking up stitches along here. We're going to want to make eight legs. And so what we're going to do in order to do that, we need to, right when it starts turning into the edge here, we're going to put it work in right there along a crochet line. We're going to take our yarn, pull it through. So you've got your hook in here after you've attached your yarn. You're going to now chain one. You're gonna chain 12. Two, three, four, five, six, 10, 11, 12. So we have this nice long chain. And after that, we're going to single crochet into each of these chains all the way down and slip stitch in. We're going to wanna to make eight legs. And we're gonna do that by redoing what we just did here eight times an inch apart. So we need to do that seven more times after this for eight full legs, about an inch apart from one another. Try to make sure that they're evenly dispersed from one another and all along the same row. Then you'll have the nice even keel of this. And then next we'll work on the mouth when we are done with our legs. It's gonna take a minute. Now that you've finished all of your legs, you should have something that looks like this. They're all about evenly dispersed I didn't measure it out exactly, so I just kind of guesstimate, but you could measure it out exactly. I'm just a little lazy, and it looks just cute as is because it's curly cute and it's not going to look exactly even regardless of what you do. So next up, you're going to want to make the little mouth that goes right there. You're going to want to start out with a magical ring, and you want to put six single crochets inside of your magical ring. Next up, you're going to want to put two single crochets in each of these crochets. 
When you've done that, you should have 12 single crochets on your piece. And then you're going to want to slip stitch off and then sew that piece onto the mouth right there. And I will be back when I have that done, sewn on, and we'll go next onto the eyes, which are the last step. Also to note that while you're sewing, you're not going to want to sew along the edges like typically you would. You're going to sew between the lines here, which will make it have that nice little puckerish effect. And I keep going around a couple of times just to make sure it's secure and in there. So I'm going to sew that in and I'll be back for the eyes. Now that you've sewn on your little sucker face there, you're going to want to take your two eyes, evenly space them on either side of your sucker face there, and glue them on. And now that you're done with your eyes, you're all done. And you've got a little cute amigurumi. If you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out, guys. We have more links in the annotations for other similar videos. And also, down in the description, there should be a written pattern link linked through Ravelry. Until next time, guys. Thank you.